Hi, Sandy the Mac and Jack. Sorry about the strange introduction there. Uh, unfortunately, the remote's still missing for the camera, so it's got to be pressed from behind, and then I can start filming. I've got to be careful what I say tonight because the actual feelings I have in me are absolute. I'm seething. I'm angry. I'm extremely disappointed. Uh, I'm not one for swearing, so I'm going to avoid using the language that's going around my head. But I'm pretty certain you can guess what it is. And if you were either at the game last night or watched the footage, you will pretty much know what the language was from most of the fans. And absolutely and utterly deserved. Last night was atrocious. It was disgraceful. It made me consider, should we rename the club? How about Panic Thistle? Every time the ball comes into the box from a corner, there's this huge panic. Uh, it usually is followed by the opposition scoring a goal. So Panic Thistle or Pathetic Thistle. A team that's absolutely pathetic. At half time on Saturday, things were going well. By the end of last night, we'd conceded seven goals in three halves of football. And obviously that seven goal difference and our goal difference, which was already rubbish, but at least it was beginning to improve. Where do you begin? Where do we start? Defenders that can't defend, without a doubt. They didn't win a damn thing. They came anywhere near them. Absolute waste of time. You could have put three bottles of milk at the back that have had as much chance of stopping anything. I still don't think the goalkeeper was the right choice, and I'm sticking by that. If you watch the second goal, uh, it was a bit like a jumbo jet trying to take off. It seems to need stacks of runway. It's a big beast, took forever, and it takes a while to get up. And he certainly took forever, and I keep watching it, having been a goalkeeper, not a top one, but good enough to know how goalkeepers should perform. I think he was miles away from it. It wasn't a bad header. But really, he just never seemed to get anywhere near it. First goal was a shambles, and by the time the third goal went in, who gives a, who gives a damn anyway? We're well and truly beaten. Uh, rushed home tonight to see footage of the game, see the goals. Oh, dear God. <laughs> like I said, I don't know where you start. Okay. We have a manager who plays, uh, he's got a plan A, plan B, plan C, plan D, because he seems to change every five minutes on the pitch. Chris Doolan might as well pack his bags because the way the team plays, he's not going to score. Be lucky if he gets two goals again this season. Right, he's wasted, absolute waste of good resource. Scott MacDonald didn't do anything last night. Nobody did anything last night. Let's be honest, it wasn't a good player on the pitch for party. And anybody who thinks otherwise hasn't watched the same footage that I've watched. Might have been that somebody at the game was outstanding between the goals or any decent passages of play. I very much doubt it. First half. An advert never, yet again, to go to a Scottish football match. Two absolutely chronically dreadful teams battling it out for a dreadful nils each. But then guess what? The happy 47th minute. Happy for the opposition. Because every time it comes along, there's a corner. And every time that corner comes in, there's a shambles. And every time that shambles is finished, it's back to the halfway line on the centre spot. And Partick are taking a kick off, having gone 1-0 down. Either they've let the team back in the game, Ross County, or they've given Dunfermline more than enough foothold in the game to make sure they go on and win. It's, it's absolutely ridiculous. The same time, the same mistakes made. Who coaches this team? Who manages it? Right? A blind man can see, you can't concede at that time in a game and expect to get anything from games. Right? It boosts the confidence of the opposition, it kills you off stone dead. Absolutely dreadful. Possession wise, the usual, about equal with the opposition. But just like in the Alan Archie ball days, nothing with it. <laughs> you know, you can have 50% possession, pity pattying around the centre circle, playing it wide, playing it back in. But if there's no decent forward pass on the end of it, then it's an absolute waste of time. And that's exactly what it was an absolute waste of time. So, <sighs> those people who did the vlogs for last night, thank you very much. The footage from Dunfermline Football Club was absolutely superb, it always is. And it didn't really do the game, uh, you know, it wasn't a false view, false impression of the game. The young lad who does the, the I say he's more English than me, uh, he's certainly from down south somewhere, you know, he nailed it. He thinks we'll be relegated and so do I. I knew I was being overconfident a few weeks ago, you know, bring on Barcelona. It was all a bit tongue in cheek, but I genuinely thought we're going somewhere. And we are going somewhere. We're going down to the next level in Scottish football. Because Alloa seem to be capable of going behind in games and picking up points. 
Falkirk are on a amazing run, they're probably the form team in the division. There's no way we're going to catch the teams above us now, it's not going to happen. Uh, talk of promotion, really sorry for saying that, that was just a lunacy moment on my part. We're not going to get promoted. If anything, we're going down, and I suspect we'll go down bottom. Because I actually think Alloa have got more fight in them as a football team than Partick Thistle. How embarrassing is that to say that? It shocks me at the core, it sends a shiver down me, because it's so wrong. Right? We have a hard enough time in Glasgow, we've got two huge neighbours, right? but we've got a hard core of loyal fans who support the team through thick and thin, and we just want to do well. And <laughs> here's a one for you, doing well. Uh, some advice for Hearts, just watch the last couple of games on the videos. Play the ball near the goal line with a party defender nearby, get them to tip it out the touch, take the corner and score your goals. Ten corners I expect to score seven times. I just can't see us. It's a distraction, the Cup now. Uh, it means we're another league game behind. We're just playing catch-up non-stop. And eventually you run out of games and you run out of time. And that time's becoming very, very critical now. I don't see where we're going to get the rest of the wins that we need. Dundee United, the next home game. The last time we played them at home, they destroyed us. It might have just finished 2-1, but it should have been 6-7-1. or First half, they should have been outside. They've got something to fight for. I don't think our players look as if they've got an ounce of fight in them. Frankly, you know, if there was a crowd funding to get rid, I think of virtually every single one of them, put me down for 100 quid. I'm quite happy to pay the coach first and send them off wherever they want to go because they've let us down so badly. People who pay a lot of good money to travel at places like Dunfermline and watch games and cheer them on, you're a disgrace. You should be turning around to those fans last night and you should be offering to refund the money. You should be doing it now. It's the very minimum you should be doing and every one of them should get a free ticket for the next game. And speaking of the next game, why are we giving up so many seats for Hearts fans? I can understand the economics of it. Bloody hell, they're not at home, we are. They've got one full stand and they're, got, they're going to get a fair chunk of the John Lambie. Yeah, okay, might be a better atmosphere. It'd be more embarrassing if we get stuffed though, because the singing's going to sound absolutely terrible if it's going to be coming from the Hearts fans. Really, you know, come on party, get your act together. Good God, you know, I know it's a business. Is it that difficult to run? And on the coaching and the management side, is it that difficult to choose a team that will fight for the club and come up trumps and win the odd game? Or is that our five or six game runs over? Really, is it? You know, because if it is, you should be telling the season ticket holders and giving them a refund. Now, a couple of the things that I've looked at and read, it's the same thing. Goodbye, Gary Caldwell. It's his team now, there's no excuses. Should we suffer another couple of heavy defeats, and it's looking ominous, then, yeah, I'm part of that team, he has to go. <sighs> I don't know. Uh, he's, he's naturally going to get the next couple of games to see what happens. But we're just going to run out of games here. We've got too many difficult games left. Although, let me rephrase that. For us, every game is a difficult game. That's the reality. I'm just absolutely shell-shocked. We've we, we just been an absolute shambles. It's been like it. It's deja vu for last season. Absolutely rubbish up until January. We had a little brief into late January, February last year, where got a few wins, one at St. Johnston, picked up a few decent results, things weren't too bad. And then we had the Hamilton and the Dundee games, where we just chucked away a point and three points, and we ended up going down. It just feels the same. Is that what it is to be a Partick fan? We can have a month and a half in the winter, in January and February, and the rest of the year we can basically all get stuffed, because that's what it's beginning to feel like. That's what it feels like being a fan of our club at this moment. Basically two fingers stuck up at you and you can get stuffed. So you can have all these meetings, Jerry, and you know, get the fans along and the views. Well just listen to what's going on on the terraces. Don't have a meeting. Just put your ear out and listen to what's said and how people are feeling. You know, even amongst the swearing you can work out how people are feeling. We're absolutely gutted and we're absolutely sick of it. Now get it sorted, right? Gary Caldwell's team, if he's not up for the job, because I still think there are some really good players there, then get rid of him. If he can pull it round, then I'll apologise, I'll do it publicly on this vlog. I can't see that happening, okay? Now I'm good at that, I've had a long day, I'm tired, uh, I'm absolutely distraught at what I watched, uh, with the goals. <sighs> I'll be up for the Dundee United game, I say I can't make the Hearts game, probably just as well. Yeah. Because God knows what that result's going to end up being, but I suspect it's going to be embarrassing. 
I'm still a jag, I'll always be a jag, I want us to do well and it's breaking my heart that we're not. Okay. Thanks very much for your time and listening, I always appreciate that. And feel free to put your comments in. Uh, the last vlog somebody said, and the comment was, we're going down. How could I argue with that? Thank you.